Okay, welcome back everybody. This is the second video in, uh, tr uh, in trying to draw the shear and bending moment diagrams using uh, the software I introduced earlier, which was Wembeam. And uh, we'll try in this example to do a more uh, complicated one. Okay, uh, draw the shear and moment diagrams for the beam shown in the figure. Basically, that's what you're given, and you need to transfer this first. Th that's the first step into something you really uh, seen before which is something like a line and you start introducing the reactions or the supports to the line first of all above this it's a roller you can tell the circle is equivalent to when you when you have a beam like this So it's somewhere in here and it looks something like this. Okay, what about this one? This one, if I assume it's fixed, probably is, but if it is fixed, uh, that means the, structu uh, the structure or the beam I have is indeterminate beam. And uh, I believe this example was taken from a chapter where they did not yet introduce the indeterminate beams. So for the moment, I'm going to assume it as a hinge. Maybe we'll do another example where we can assume it's something else and see the differences. OK, now I have a point load right here, which is 3,000 pounds. and I have a distributed load from here all the way to here which is 75 pounds per foot and I'll have 25,000 pounds, 2,500 pounds and now I should put some dimensions on this this one is 6 feet, this one is 12 feet, and this one is 2 feet. So this is the beam I'm trying to analyze. Okay, let's go ahead and use wind beam to solve or to draw the bending and shear, uh, the bending and uh, the bending moment and shear diagram. Okay, description. Mm, do I really to need to put it? Okay, let's put it. Example, example. Two, okay. Again, units add consistent properties add from x equals zero all the way to the end of the beam. Um, let's say a thousand. I'm just getting numbers here uh, because I don't have uh, the exact information. I'm just assuming numbers. Uh, if you want to calculate again, if you want to calculate the deflection or the rotation, you should know what modules of elasticity or what material are you using and what is the cross-section so you can get the I. Okay, moment release. We don't have any moment releases. Supports. Okay, so we let's look at the question again. We do have a support right here which is at X. If we, X goes from here. 6, 8, 12, that's 20. So at x equals 20 we have a support so let's do this one and 20 and displacement is 0 yes we do have one so here is 20 and we need one more support here let's go to support and was it at x equals 6 I believe yes it was at x equals 6 I'll have another support so basically that's my beam now point loads do I have point loads yes I do which is here it's two feet from the right so it's at x if x goes here or from here I'll have x equals 18 so going back add a point load at x equals 18 and the value of the point load is 3000 with a minus sign so it should point so it can point downwards 
you can see the program is already calculating the moment for me with this load only so let me turn it off for now okay any other point loads no but I have a distributed uh, I do have a point load which is at x equals to 0 which is 2500 zero, zero. so I go point loads and at x equals 0 I'll have a load of minus 2500 zero, zero, like that now let's do the uniform load where does the uh, uniform load start looking at the question it starts from x equals 6 so it's x equals 6 and it ends at x equals is it 12? no, 18 so at x equals 18 what is the value of the load? it's 75 okay so it's negative 75 and it starts with negative 75 and it ends with seven, negative 75 that brings up the point of what if you have a, uh, a load that's triangular or uh, it's basically varying with length so let's say it's uh, start with 75 and ends with 775 so it will, you can tell the line is not straight but how to fix this? You made a typo or something, you go to edit, it's minus 75. That's the correct one to make it straight line just like this. Well, you're done. All you need to do is go and click on these icons up here to reveal your answers. So reactions are these, shear is this, moment is this, and you don't need those for now because we didn't input the correct uh, values for the E and the I so if I go to my question I do have an answer for this let me just go right here okay so my answers here or my moment diagrams and shear diagram looks like this it goes down then up then go like this then down and the values uh, probably you can see them or not okay it's uh, it's in K or in kips so it's 25,000 or 25 kips 25,000 uh, 2500 I mean uh, pounds so it's it's uh, written in kips so let's look at the answers here so for the shear it's going down yes going up and gradually going down and going down like this and like that okay if we want to compare answers it says here uh, I I even cannot read this one it's probably negative 1.89 so let's double check so if I keep the data tab right here open and I can go like to here which is distance 18 it's 1114 and of course it's a negative value right here so it's 1.886 1 1.886 comparing to this one it's 1 1.89 yeah exactly so that's correct looking at the moments is negative 15 in the bottom right here so if I turn off the shear and do the moments yeah it's negative 15 and the 999.999 basically you round out these numbers okay what about right here it says here 3771 right at x equals 18 3.77 yeah so now we've d uh, checked our answers and uh, you can see the program is working perfectly and by the way it works perfectly on Windows 7 it works perfectly on Vista uh, I don't know if you guys still have something below Vista, but uh, when I used this program, XP was around. So it still works on XP as well. Okay, uh, yeah, that, that, that should do it for the second, um, for the second example. And uh, I'll be doing one more example probably with uh, rotation and deflection so you can get a sense or a feeling on how to use the E and the I in the input. So I'll see you guys in the uh, next video.